Right. So one of the things I want to do is I'm a ground fighter, so if I'm in this situation, I don't want to be here. So for those of you that are stand-up fighters, this will be good to try and avoid something like this. Put my hips in a little bit, try and pull back, just run his neck, hold his arm, step back, get down, and my weight goes through his shoulder, grab his wrist. Make sense? Yes, sir. Can we have like nice with you? They should get the weight on the shoulder. Yeah, that was good. So again, we're going to put a little bit of pressure on. All right. As he turns into me, this is when I'm going to transition. So he turns into me, I transition and grab the chin. All right. So I'm already starting to set up this grip as I slide my knee in. When I slide my knee in, I want to imagine I'm sliding the home plate, right? So I'm sliding my knee in, but I'm also aligning my ribs with his neck. All right. Those two key things. So I have the grip. All right. I'm here. I slide everything in. Boom. And so I have weight. There's already weight on him. I can potentially just sit here, squeeze a little bit, and finish. But we're not going to do that. All right. So once I'm here, now I'm going to step over. All right. Here. And I'm going to pull up as I bring my elbow to my own head. Boom. See his neck's going to turn a little bit. All right. See his neck turns this way a little. All right. So that's the way I want to so I use this move a lot, especially bigger people, right? So I can't take some guys 265 pounds with big bulging biceps and armbar very easily. But if I control his neck and have a good, good control of his chin, it doesn't matter how strong he is because I'm here. Even if he comes up into me because he's stronger, I just lift my leg and I still finish. It's easy. All right? Make sense? Sure. Sure. All right, so we're here. All right. He releases. I almost suck back into it. He starts to set this up. I like to get it. And I'm immediately following because he left his chin out, right? And so he left his chin out. And because he left his chin out, now I can kind of tilt this back, right? And I'm going to bring him back over. As I bring him back over, I'm going to lift my hips a little bit. So it's going to be easy for me to slide over his head. And slide right in. Obviously, bring the second hand. This is probably better, right? It's almost like I'm going to go for a move called a plata, but I'm not. I'm going for a position. I'm going to transition to a different position. I put my legs up and I hook his head. Simple enough, right? If we're here, all right, I control one arm, I push up, and I control his head. The thing I like about this is that if he wants to hit me, he's going to hit me. Right? Exactly. Right? <laughs> it's much more challenging for him to hit me from here, right? And it doesn't look like I have a lot of options, but I do have a lot of options to try and finish him because the main thing he's going to be concerned about here is getting out of this position. All right. and there's a couple of ways that, that are more likely that he's going to try and do so. so if he posts up with that far hand all right, and starts to drive into me, I'm going to take that for a second. I lift my hips. I'm going to bring my heel to my butt. And I'm going to scoop that far arm. I'm immediately going to follow it. All right? Both hands come down. And I need to use that momentum. right? If I just reach for this, that is never going to happen in a million years. Never. We have to actually use the momentum. We're going to swing our arms. Come in. I grab and finish. Make sense? Yes. There's a hundred different ways we can get into here. All right? The most easy is simply there's one arm out, there's one arm in. If I control, overhook the arm, right? Mm -hmm. Push this in a little bit, come up. All right? The difference, instead of going for the umo plata, right? instead of going for the umo plata, I just come up. Oh, Good? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> come up. Sorry. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Beautiful. Nice job. If anybody who's ever done jujitsu has been there, all right? Anybody. They just may not have recognized that they're there or recognized that it can be a really offensive position. So why do I say that? Let's say I go for the arm, boy. And he pulls his arm out. Look where I'm at. Boom. I finish. So everybody's been there, all right? There's another thing that we can do from here, and this one's actually my favorite, right? This is for, good for really, really strong guys. So let's say, for example, he's got his arms, he's holding both his arms together. I'm going to clasp both your arms together. So now he's savvy, right? He saw the fail, fail a plot of video or he came to a class and heard it. <laughs> there's no way this guy's gonna fail a plot of me. You know, there's no way he's gonna catch me in this fail a plot of guard. And he's like, I'm gonna just throw him, stack him on his back, right? If he wants to do that, how's he gonna do it, right? Oh, look, let me see. Oh my gosh, that leg's up. That's cool. So look what I'm gonna do. Same thing. Boom. And I hook his leg. Oh. Now I basically just turn, right? <laughs> I can use my arms too, but remember, if you could do it with no arms, that's like the best choke ever. <laughs> best best submission ever. No hands. <laughs> Sweet. All right, remember here? So they're super tight, all right? So now, I can't get the arm, obviously, right? There's no way it's going to happen because it's got the arm tucked in. And a lot of times when guys wrap like this, what they're going to do is step up with that leg and try and stack. Exactly. So I'm here, I kind of look a little bit first, and I catch. From here, 
I can grab and come up and finish. This way is fine. What I'll normally try to do is I'll turn a little bit first. All right, see if I can catch it that way, and if not, then I'll come back. And finish. That's that. All right? So the triangle is a better submission by far. Okay? However, if I'm going to fight, this gives me much more ability to not get hit. All right? And if he wants to stack me, so stack me, it's actually harder for him to stack me in this position than it is for a regular triangle. The cool part about this now is, you know, if it's a fight, I can hit him a little bit, do some other stuff, play around. Clear this over. Once I clear this over, now I lock it, which it's already on all the way, versus on halfway. So I'll actually frequently, this is the question you asked, but I'll frequently set up my triangles with the reverse triangle, because guys don't typically defend the reverse triangle as strongly or as, you know, as effectively as they do the regular triangle. Charlie is one of my original training partners, and I owe a lot of my uh, my current game and uh, you know, my love for jiu-jitsu to train with Charlie. I've had a lot of excellent training partners. I would definitely place Charlie up in the, the top echelon of the people that I've enjoyed training with. Right? Don't really know. One of my favorite training partners, seriously, is making funny faces as a video too. Right? Uh, so there's people that always feel that they have to win, and you're going to encounter a lot of those, particularly in jiu-jitsu. Right? Um, somebody I, I know once said to me that a lot of people start in martial arts because they have some level of insecurity and many of them don't get over it. But uh, especially in jiu-jitsu, you know, the best and the strangest people I've ever met in my life have been people that do jiu-jitsu and or martial arts. So if you can find a training partner that doesn't really care about winning but cares about you and themselves getting better and it's about training just to get better at the art, that's rare and, and you want to continue to have that relationship and continue to train with those people because you're lucky to find them to do. So with that said, I like it. There you go. Uh, wow, you suck me out. I don't have the juice for that. I told you I'm old and lazy. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you.